Hey everybody, welcome to an impromptu stream tonight, do a little work on a comic. Thanks for joining me. Let's see, uh, make sure everybody's good to go. Make sure everybody's happy, YouTube's happy. We are live and going. Awesome. Get a strip I can see here. All right, rock and roll. Alright, as usual, if anybody has any questions, jump in and ask. I will be glad to answer. Also, if that audio is too loud, just let me know. Get it fixed. All right, let's try this. Yeah, I think we're gonna be a little too thick right there. Let's go back to our usual. I'm trying a different brush tonight. We'll see how it works. I think that's a little, a little stiff. this guy. Whoa. Wowzers. That's a little better. Jeez. All right. Uh, I'll go ahead and do all my speech bubbles. I usually like to do my balloons first. Warm up a little bit, see what the pressure is going to be like. Set sort of uh, helps me set my my line thickness with the strip. Here we go. 
go. Scribbly, scribbly, scribbly tonight. I'm a little worried about how thin I can actually get with this. Actually, let's try to try to help with that perspective of going back if we can. Scribble, 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 scribble. Not sure I'm 100% sold on this brush yet, but we're going with it. Not completely sold, but I think we'll be all right. I also think I'm going to change the general shape of things here for a little bit on his head.
<laughs> Flexius. Yeah, we do tend to uh, we do tend to mumble. <laughs> the weird thing I can't help though, man. <laughs> I am, uh, I have been accused of being weird in the past. <laughs> but normally if I'm mumbling while I'm drawing, it's to mumble to you guys in the chat, just in case anybody's listening, right? Because the rule of thumb is stream like there's at least a hundred people watching you at all times, even if there's zero, so... I can't I can't fault too many mumblers. Well, you should totally practice then. I've always thought that anybody can learn how to draw. There are some people out there who have a sort of uh, innate uh, sense about it, an innate sort of ability with it, but there are plenty of people who have none of that and still end up being able to, uh, to draw really, really well. I'm one of those people that just had to practice and practice and practice and practice, and then there was some more practice. Oh my goodness. Sounds like the doggies agree with me. But uh, my my style, as you can tell, is pretty uh, pretty uh, animated uh, in a more sort of a Saturday morning cartoon style. It's funny though on Twitch, um, you know, I never I never get to, uh, to really figure out people's ages, you know? Um, so I don't know if, if uh, people always get when I say Saturday morning cartoon, if they know what that means. How many frames is this? Uh, this is just a uh, three panel comic strip. And what I'll do... Whoops. I will uh, zoom out for you. I always have to remember that uh, you guys can't see the entire strip. So um, I'm a cartoonist for uh, for two strips a week. One is called Legend of Bill. It comes out on Monday, and the other is called The Gnome Syndicate, which comes out supposedly on Thursdays. But this week it got a little delayed, so we're working on it tonight. Um, and so uh, it's a it's kind of a serial comic strip, and I usually do a three panel format like this. But uh, I also do traditional animation, um, like Disney style animation. But in this case, we are inking the comic strip. No, I have a I have a day job. Um, I uh, uh, for about eleven years I was working in California in the feature animation industry, working on movies. So um, I worked for DreamWorks Animation for about eleven years. Um, so if you if you're familiar with Shrek, Madagascar, How to Train Your Dragon, all those movies, I worked on those. Um, now where I'm, I'm living on the East Coast now, and I work in video games. So my day job is making video games, but my, uh, my sort of life passion is still drawing and art and storytelling, and so uh, I, uh, I hang out and make comic strips. And obviously stream as well. Sometimes I think it would be cool if it was a job for me, but then I, I'm kind of scared that it would actually just become a job, 
and uh, I would sort of, you know, lose the passion that I have for it, and uh, I don't want to do that, so. And it's been great, uh, it's been great making artwork on Twitch and getting to hang out and uh, meet a lot of people. Like yourself. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, I've been pretty uh, pretty quiet online. You know, I haven't really I haven't really done anything. Um, you know, like marketing myself or trying to get out there or anything like that. Uh, I I usually stream once or twice a week, uh, and every Monday night I stream with Adobe. So if you're familiar with them, they make uh, a software called Photoshop, and so uh, I stream with them every Monday night uh, at seven o'clock East Coast time. And so then I just kind of fill in during the week with my own stream. But yeah, I've heard that before. People are like, wow, you should, wow, how do you not, how does everybody not follow you? But it's not like I'm plastering DreamWorks everywhere on everything, you know? But I do appreciate the compliment. And I would love to have those followers, for sure. Um, just to, just to, you know, have more people to hang out with, interact with, and uh, enjoy comics, art, animation, and all that nerdy stuff with. <laughs> Hey, you never you never know who you're talking uh, you never know who you're talking with you know that's why it's important to uh, always be nice to people golden rule and all that right because you never know but I mean you know hey if you've ever if you've ever stayed for the credits of a movie you know it takes a lot of people to make those things so it is a it is a team effort all the way. Hey, Zenra three three one, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Oh, Zenra, thanks. Yeah, I was just saying uh, that uh, my style is sort of a. Uh, Cut, let me cut my audio down just a little bit. There we go. Uh, I was just saying that my style is sort of a uh, um, um, Saturday morning cartoon style, but on Twitch I never know anyone's age. So when I say Saturday morning cartoons, I have had people go, what are Saturday morning cartoons? Oh, well, thanks for following, Zinra. I appreciate that. Yeah, the Adobe Stream stuff has been really fun. I've been enjoying it a lot. Um, such a great community. Everybody's just so cool and chill and uh, you get a lot of work done and get to interact with people, and it's super fun, man. Or lady. Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Oh hey, bet your sweet bips, no problem. Yeah, let me let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see a little better what's going on. I really need to add another window to the stream, but uh, I feel like I'm losing so much real estate already, you know. Um, but anyway, so uh, this comic strip is a serial comic strip. I do two comic strips a week at legendabill.com or on gocomics.com. Um, on Monday, Legend of Bill comes out, and then on Thursday, Gnome Syndicate comes out. Now, obviously, I'm a little late this week, and that happens sometimes, but uh, it's a serial comic strip. It takes place in sort of a medieval Dungeons & Dragons, uh, Tolkien, uh, Game of Thrones, you know, swords, uh, barbarians, dragons, fairies, gnomes, gnolls, as the case here, and... Uh, um, 
it's a it's basically I'm telling two kind of big stories over a long period of time. Uh, Legend of Bill has been running for almost eight years. Now I haven't been doing Legend of Bill the entire time. I have been doing Gnome Syndicate the entire time though. Um, and so uh, yeah, it's it's uh, still going, still running, and still pretty much the same story. Um, so in Gnome Syndicate. Uh, Currently, it's it's basically the gnomes are kind of like the FBI and the CIA in our world. They're the the watchers. They know everything. They're kind of like the spies. They can change their size, their magic, uh, and so our our head gnome here in this strip is chasing down this bad guy who's stolen some magical artifacts for a very specific reason for his boss, and uh, he had to come to this knoll encampment to do it. And so they've been sort of battling back and forth. And uh, he's about to get away because I'm, uh, I'm a sucker for letting the bad guys uh, get ahead when they can. But yeah, as far as the project size, it's just ongoing all the time. Miss Heavy Metal, welcome. I am doing great today. It's Friday. At least where I am, it's Friday. It's Friday night. So uh, I, I can't beat Friday. <laughs> I'll take it. But yeah, if you're if you're interested in the strip, you can check out uh, legendabill.com. Uh, I am going to warn you though, we we did have some web server issues, and so legendabill.com looks nowhere near as pretty or as easy to navigate as it once was a few months ago. But we're slowly rebuilding. Um, but if you want to kind of catch up on Legend of Bill in particular, you can go to gocomics.com and search for Legend of Bill. And uh, Legend of Bill is current at Go Comics. You can go all the way back to the beginning and read all the way up to last week's strip. Um, and then uh, it's about a week behind. Gnome Syndicate, though, on Go Comics is a few years behind. So you can go and see my very, very, very first early artwork on Gnome Syndicate, which is terrible. But uh, things have progressed. So <clears throat> it's one of the it's one of the reasons I love web comics because you get to see that progression in the artist. So. But yeah, if you guys have questions, let me know. Absolutely, yeah. Well, you know, people people kind of ask about animation and drawing and things like that. And it's, you know, even if I was waiting tables somewhere, which I'm not opposed to doing if I have to survive, right? Um, I would still have to draw at some point. <laughs> it's just it's just in me. It's in my it's in my veins. I got to do it, you know. Alexius? Yeah, let me see if I got it. I don't know if it even came through. Um, actually, I did not get a uh, I did not get a whisper from you. So, um, yeah, my last whisper was from. Uh, um, was from Monday night. So maybe try again, okay? Yeah, no worries. Oh, there we go. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I don't use that software very much, actually, uh, believe it or not. But um, definitely, definitely go and find my social media. Uh, check me out on Twitter and things like that and add me and come hang out here. For sure. This guy's got some fun scars here we got to remember to add. I always forget that. He got raked across the back. Yeah, let me check YouTube as well. I'm sort of dual streaming. Everybody on YouTube, watch me work. Everything good? 
All right, let's jump in here. And you know what? Before I go too far, it's been a while since I've drawn this guy. So I definitely want to make sure that we have everything right. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he has lost an eye at some point, and I think I just drew both eyes. I believe this eye is blind with a with a cut in it. We'll have to check it out and see. There may even be a patch. I may be getting totally ahead of myself, which I've done before. I've sort of like redesigned characters accidentally, <laughs> just because just because I forgot something. See what we can do here. Let's see. Wow, was it really twenty sixteen? Couldn't have been 2016 the last time I drew him like that. Nope, it was 2017. Let's see. Yep, 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 that is true. We got it. I was right. I done, I done messed up. Get rid of that. that white. We'll get down there to the shoulder just a minute. I want to go ahead and jump in and get these uh, spots taken care of here. I think what I'm going to do is uh, sort of leave these spots kind of strokey like that just to sort of indicate that there is some texture there and I'm not just coloring in like you know black black squares, if you will. This guy is a knoll. G-N-O-L-L. -L. So if anybody watching is unfamiliar with Dungeons and Dragons, go uh, go look up a knoll. They're pretty, uh, pretty nasty enemies. I sort of, uh, I sort of made him a little more cartoony, but you know. <laughs> oh, Flexius, it's not... Not anything, man. You're more than welcome. Anytime I'm streaming, just come hang out. Every now and again, uh, now and again, I also still do uh, animation on stream. Well, in fact, I know we're going to have some coming up here pretty soon uh, that we'll be streaming some some client client work that we'll be streaming. So everybody will have to come back and hang out for that. It should be pretty fun. Obviously, we won't be doing uh, film quality. But we will be doing uh, uh, some Adobe Animate and probably some Toon Boom. How did my how did my uh, 
SoundCloud stream get into uh, Christmas music all of a sudden. I'll have to, I'll have to check this out. Oh wait, don't need that. There we go, that's better. Um, drawing software for a Surface 3, I would recommend exactly what I'm using right here, which is, uh, in the U.S., it used to be called Manga Studio Pro, or Manga Studio. Um, now it's, it goes by the traditional, the Japanese name for the software originally, which is Clip Studio Paint. Um, check it out. Uh, it's sold in the uh, U.S. by, I assume you're in the USA, but... It's sold by a company called Smith Micro. And uh, let me get a link. I'll pull up a link for you. There you go. Check that out. That's what I'm using right now, and it's uh, really cheap. And, um,. It should work. It should work great. It works on tablets. I've used it on. Uh, I had a Surface like the first Surface that came out. I used it on that. It was great. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. And I know a lot of professional artists that use that software for comics and uh, uh, pro work. You know, like even even Marvel, DC, those guys. So check it out. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, well, if if free is better for you, then check out Krita. Let me uh, let me. Um. This may or may not run um, quite as quickly. Check that out. Uh, Krita, Krita is great. Krita, Krita. I assume that's how it's pronounced. Um, I've used it quite a bit. I've even done some. If you check out my YouTube channel, normally when I stream on my personal channel, I just sort of also dump it to YouTube. Um, if you check my YouTube channel uh, under YouTube, uh, I go by Kev Draws, K E V D R A W S. I think there's a link uh, down below uh, in the in the links list. But uh, if you check on YouTube. You'll also uh, see some videos where I stream while drawing with Krita and kind of go over a little bit of, of my impression and how, how I think it does and things like that. But it's, it's totally viable as a professional art tool. Um, the reason that I don't use Krita for my strips currently is simply because of text. Um, uh, their, their text tool is, is just not not there. I mean, it's just pretty much non-existent. I mean, they, there is a text tool there, but I, it's it's just impossible to use for comic strips. It just maybe it's, it might be me not getting the hang of it, but I just can't can't deal with it. <laughs> so I stick with uh, Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint. But like I said, I'm also lucky enough to uh, be an adult and have a job and can afford it. So. Yeah, absolutely, Flexi. It's my pleasure, man. My pleasure, sir. My pleasure. See what else we can get into here. A 
Let's go ahead and get our uh, speech balloon going here. Just to see kind of what we're dealing with. the surface into a drawing surface I don't think there is um, I think the newest uh, Wacom or Wacom however you want to pronounce it I believe it's Wacom though Cintiq companions can do that but I don't believe the surface can um, at least I've never heard of it being able to but I hear you yeah I mean drawing drawing with a drawing tablet like a surface like that is uh, is tremendous and if you have that extra real estate, oh man, so good. But I don't think uh, I don't think it supports it. I don't think you can do it. In fact, I'm 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 near a hundred percent sure that it will not work that way. Like there's nothing you can do. Um, there may be like some some software or something that somebody's hacked together to make it do it, but I definitely haven't seen it. If there is, that's for sure. Definitely have not seen it. Yeah, it is pretty small, that's for sure. Um, I mean, it's workable, you know? Like, I mean, you can, you can definitely... I know people who, who do professional work on the Surface 3. Um, so it's definitely possible, but... It, it may not be... Uh, may not be the most pleasurable thing to deal with for sure oh thank you yeah I'm just using SoundCloud um, you know when you stream you have to have royalty free music uh, and so I am uh, just streaming off of SoundCloud Normally, uh, Twitch is pretty cool about the music and what you choose, but uh, YouTube, if, if you're cross-streaming or restreaming to YouTube, YouTube gets very particular. Understandably, you know. But, um... See if we can just connect that just a little bit to match the other side. Just a scotch. I talked on the uh, Adobe stream Monday night about how this was my favorite mouth shape for these characters. Ew. Oh, 
Probably want to keep at least a little negative space between there. That cheek maybe end up, I think it is just too thick. Oh, come on, it's just a C, dude. There we go. Feeling heavy handed tonight. I need to lighten up. Uh, no, if you can, um, if it'll let you uh, paste a link, I'm not sure if it will. But uh, yeah, if you can if you can uh, post it, I'll totally take a look. Play with it that way. This is going to be tricky to not get a bunch of tangents in here, but we're going to try it anyway. It says deleted. Oh, it was it? Did it? It wouldn't let you post the link. I didn't think it would.
Oh wait, no you got it. Just remove the spaces. Okay. Yeah, let me uh, make sure that we're good here on this panel. I want to do Let's see if we can do some little little bits. Let's see one more. Yeah, that feels pretty cool. Ooh, save. You know we haven't saved. All right, before we move on to the next panel, let's straighten this out and back up so that everybody can see what we got going on here. So we're getting there. Got one panel down. Now let me, uh... I'll check out your, uh, your stuff here, Flexius. See what you got. Give me just one minute, everybody. It's a good thing I don't have a crazy number of followers or I wouldn't be able to check out people's links. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I see your circles and lines. They look pretty good to me. What's wrong with them? Oh, I don't know, Flexius. I think it's pretty good, man. I think it's just a matter of spending some time with it, you know? Um, I, I always tell this story sometimes when I talk to, sometimes when I talk to students, uh, there is a uh, drawing teacher out in California that uh, I had once, or met once, and uh, his, his students were always asking about what pencil he used, what piece of charcoal he used, what paper was that, thinking that it was really making a difference. So one night he comes into class with a pack of Oreos. He opens the pack, takes a cookie, bites it, bites one bite out of the Oreo cookie, sits down with a piece of newsprint paper, and then starts this figure drawing that is just so amazing. I mean, the gesture and the quality of it is awesome. And he drew it with an Oreo cookie. Um, that is the the highest example of the the tools don't matter. And so. You know, even if even if you feel like the surface is a little bit jittery and stuff like that, if you just keep pushing through it, though, you'll totally it'll it'll settle. It'll settle because uh, a lot of I mean the lines and, and circles that you just showed me, the mark making looks pretty good. Um, I can totally see where the tech may or may not be comfortable to use. Now that's one thing, but uh, for sure uh, it looks okay. So you know, I think it's good enough for you to get a good start. You know. I definitely wouldn't wouldn't spend any money or anything. Like uh, I think you've got I think you've got a pretty good tool there to get started with. I would definitely jump on it. Yep, that's exactly right. Drawing is not easy. For sure.
Sure. Yeah. I mean, Flexius, it's, um, you know, having a clear vision before you start drawing is a great thing to do. But a lot of times you don't want to also be careful. You don't want to frustrate yourself while you're trying to hit that vision. No, no. Uh, feel free to ask questions. That's fine. Totally fine. Um, you know, if I, if I have to stop answering, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. I'll stop answering. <laughs> but, uh, uh, no, you, you, having a clear vision is important for sure. But, uh, a lot of it is just practicing, just trying, filling up sketchbooks, you know, filling up that screen every day. That's really all there is to it. And then you, you sort of figure out, I mean, look how sketchy a lot of this is. I went over and over and over to try and get this pose for this guy <clears throat> running out the door, right? And I'm still not 100% happy with it, but I feel like it's communicating uh, what's happening. And so overall, I feel like the panel will work because you'll know what's going on. But the particular drawing, eh, you know? And I mean, even looking at this, I just messed up. Look how big this ear is compared to this ear. This ear is actually closer to us, so it should be bigger than this ear. But, you know, stuff like that happens. And hey, if you're drawing digitally, you know, you've got the, the, the magic of the uh, undo key. So there should be nothing standing in your way of getting it exactly how you want it. But, you know, I, I say that, but there's also a, a, a part of this that's like, maybe, maybe right now don't get so bogged down in it being exactly how you want it, but get bogged down in just doing it. Just draw. Just draw. You'll know you're getting there when you get lost in it, you know? Uh, like I mentioned before, <clears throat> you know, the these, these Gnome Syndicate strips are on uh, Go Comics. And they're starting over from the very, very beginning uh, years ago, back in 2010, when it started, or when I started it. And um, the, the artwork is just atrocious. Oh, it's terrible. And I, it's hard for me to even look at it, but, you know, it's come a long way and it'll continue to grow too. I'm, I, I look back at strips I did earlier this year and I'm like, Ugh. that's just part of, that's just part of getting better, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, doodle on anything. I use notepads, I use my phone, use whatever you got. I think the, the biggest advice is just draw, draw, draw. And then when you think you're too tired to draw, draw some more. This guy's a little bit of a trick because that eye is slightly bigger than the other eye. So perspective's gonna be freaky from this angle. But I'm okay with that. Maybe, uh, maybe stand up and draw. I know a lot of people who draw who have uh, ADD and ADHD. And they, uh, they adapt. You know? They might, uh, they might stand up or change position or change hands. 
why they're drawing. check our oh this is gonna be a, a, a weird one because technically the shoulder is there so it looks like our elbow should actually be up here hmm Let's see what happens when we do that <laughs> Hang in there, Flexius. You do what works for you, you know? However, however you get in the zone, man. Jump in and do it. belly hairy hairy goblin belly is that really where we want to shadow I don't think it is well do something like that oh 
Oh, good. I'm glad you figured it out, man. That's great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see here. No worries at all. Take your time. Let's see if I can use some line thickness to sort of indicate. of things something like that I'm gonna do a little throwback to uh, the stuff that he has been stealing this whole time pocket. Make it a little too thick on the leg there. Too much, too much. Don't like that either. Let's think about this. Let's be smart about this. more sense. A uh, duh. Give him the old arm patch there. Okay. Oops. <clears throat> yep. And save. 
Man, I keep forgetting to save. I'm gonna have to start setting a reminder, like a Windows reminder or something. Oh, well, at least it worked a little bit, Flexius. Maybe there's a maybe there's a way to fix the uh, logout thing. Well, let me take a second to check. Make sure I'm not leaving anybody out. Hey, Jeremy Weed. If you're still watching on YouTube, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you in the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, hold on a minute. Got to take this. So sorry guys, one second. Gotta answer some family stuff here. Here, let me zoom out on the strip so you guys can see what's going on. While I uh, while I take this message right quick. I'm back. <laughs> the cat in the corner. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is a little bit disturbing. He's based on my real cat, which is currently messing with my feet under the desk. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this guy here. That's going to be just too much. You know what? I'm going to leave it until we get rid of the blue, just to see. Because we've still got to get our uh, our uh, word balloon in there. Still got to do that. Like peace. I am out. See you people. Yeah, Flexius, that's good advice. Thanks for the good advice. Is it uh Karunal? Karunal? Karuno L? Karuno L. Maybe that's it. I always feel so bad trying to uh, properly pronounce people's handles on, on Twitch. 
And then it's a, it's one of those things, it's a classic joke, right? Where you kind of make it harder than it really is. You know, it's like Fragile from A Christmas Story. Oh, gotcha. Oh, you know what? I gotta check on this guy, too, because I believe he had three toes. We haven't seen his toes in uh, a long, long time. A long, 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 long time. I think he was rocking boots, actually. We may be changing this. We may be going crazy on this. How silly of me. I got so caught up. So caught up drawing the pose that I forgot some details. And uh, that is super important. It happens on occasion. Luckily, we'll be okay with some of this coming through. So let's flip over to our layer two and flip over to a different tool right quick and get this drawn in. I cannot believe I forgot that. So silly of me, but it's okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, we don't want that on the ink layer. That one. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So we'll break it right here. You, don't, you lost your small tablet and your pencil? Sounds like you're having a, a day like a like a lot of us have sometimes, man. But hey, if you're if you're interested in drawing, you can still use a uh, a piece of paper. Even if it's a even if it's like a little notepad or something. Whatever, whatever it is, you just draw.
see if we can get some crazy, crazy tread here. Expecting get some We'll let that hang over a little bit. We'll get a, a tongue of the shoe here. there hanging over let's see how we're doing here and see what that feels like not bad I do feel like we need to work on this tread just a little bit though of a heel bending there uh, I have no idea who they are uh, Flexius no idea big question is, should I know who they are? I don't know them, but I'm sure their artwork is very cool. Yep, you can never, ever, ever go wrong with paper. Well, we had a little bit of a shoe delay, a foot delay, but I think we're back on track. Let's see if we can uh, get this, get this thumb and finger hand set up here going.
Later, kids. I think we want to uh, highlight that horn that he's stealing while we can. Let's go back and get some ink and get this boat back on course. The show on the road. I think I'm definitely going to be uh, trying to improve some of the, the lines that I drew here. Yeah, Count Chocula, that's true. I haven't thought about Count, Choc Count Chocula in years. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully it brings back a good memory, though. Hopefully, hopefully you have uh, fond Count Chocula memories. I have to be honest, though. I was definitely more of a uh, Frankenberry and Booberry kind of kind of kid when it came to my when it came to my monster cereals. all about that Frankenberry. Uh, I actually, uh, they didn't let me go, um, DreamWorks meaning they didn't let me go, uh, I actually left on my own, because uh, I was living in California for so long, and uh, I'm originally from the East Coast, and I just wanted to uh, get back to family, so it was totally my choice. Boot kind of looks a little bit weird, but we're going to go with it.
yep it was just time to make that uh, make that family decision you know and so I did Yeah, I like to uh, um, I like to throw in the sort of uh, hiking boot look uh, occasionally when I can. Especially, I did that previously with this guy, so I'm just trying to keep it consistent. There are so many characters. The cast of characters uh, for uh, for this strip is so huge that it's super difficult sometimes to keep them uh, to keep them straight. So. We have to look back every now and again and uh, make sure we've got everything right. And you know, nine times out of ten we're doing alright, but then uh, there's that there's that odd time like this where I, I got the sketch down so quick and I was so focused on the pose and like, oh, how am I going to have him running out of this? that uh, I just left out all the uh, important details. But I'm not, uh, I'm not afraid to, uh, to uh, uh, come back and change them, you know? Thank you very much for that, Flexius. That is a that's a pretty cool compliment. Hopefully I never have to put my diffusing skills to the test. <laughs>
you doggies better not be getting in trouble back there. Yeah, that pose has been a little, little bugaboo. I am actually uh, from the South, but I have lived all over the country, so I've sort of uh, uh, developed different accents, I guess. <laughs> originally from South Carolina as as south as south can get So all this stuff coming off of him is uh, is spit from another character that had actually uh, swallowed him. It's a long story.
Oh, thanks, Flexius. I appreciate the thought, man. That is nice. over there some pressure points here here and here. Let's see if we can make the perspective on these work with just the ink line like this. I think it will. Just add some cracky, cracky lines here. Bushes. Clean up that edge a little bit. Oh, Sublime Text? Yeah, absolutely, I program. Uh, mainly, mainly uh, C++, or not C++, uh, Python, and a little bit of C++. That's for my, that's for my video game day job, mainly.
donkey's getting into trouble. Better not be. Oh, no need to apologize. Totally fine, man. Totally fine. Not a problem at all. Wow, this panel has been super detailed. Super duper detailed. back and see what kind of craziness we've got going on here. Well, that's not what I wanted to do at all. That's what I wanted to do. Let's do a quick save. <laughs> Unfortunately, Flexius, it's out of my hands. I just worked there. I'm just a I'm just a small cog in a very big machine. <laughs> just a small piece of the big puzzle. Let's see here. Oh, we've still got to get our, uh, we still got to get our speech balloon here. I want to get a better angle on it, too. back out one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off to see what we're see how we're looking. Well, we're looking a little flat in places. I think I'd like to see some some spot blacks around here. rock areas. Maybe that's too much. Yeah, let's do that.
it's rough turning off the sketchy lines. They tend to add so much. So much life and energy. Then you turn them off and everything tends to just die on you. Save that. All right, let's bust out this last panel. Let's see what we've got to work with here. Yeah. Uh, for inking, well, I, as you can see, I get to a certain point and then turn off my pencil lines, uh, bet your sweet bips, um, and sort of reevaluate from there um, and then then kind of you know step back and take a look and see where my spot blacks are see if there's a good rhythm to everything or at least decent enough and then figure out kind of where I need to add them to go back in um, doesn't always work the best but I try to try to get to a certain point and then reevaluate and I also try my best not to um, feel like I just need to leave it because, you know, like I, I, it's it's easy to get lazy and just be like, meh, whatever. But uh, I I I do want to make sure that you know things are like I've said before, things are communicating, and that they're at least to a, a certain de degree of finished. This is a giant nose. gonna get a bit tricky because of the black uh, the black speech bubble line I might have to come back in um, at some point during the coloring process and uh, and add some white around there just to just to show it off a little bit like to come in with the noses and at least indicate that sort of shelf that's up there too.
And in this, because of the close-up nature of it, I'm going to try to... Uh, get as much sort of... Uh, furry detail as I can in places where it makes sense anyway. Give it a save too. There we go. Just checking in with everything here, make sure we're all good. Yep, all good. All right. So I'm probably, here we go. I'm probably going to come in here and add a little more detail to the eyes than I normally do. Something I don't normally do is when I do pupils like this, I don't normally come in and add uh, white highlights to them, but we may very well do that this time around. Yeah, I have done that actually. Um, yeah, when I was when I was working on, I think it was. Oh uh, man, I think it was Madagascar Two. Yeah, I think it was Madagascar Two. Um, uh, yeah, it was Two. Uh, there's a whole bunch of scenes where um, uh, zebras are talking and it's like Alex the lion in this big sea of zebras and I animated all of those zebras um, I mean I animated one or two of them and then they were duplicated like a crowd right uh, and so to get the to get the dialogue for what they were gonna say I actually use my own mouth to sort of, you know, in like in a mirror, like you see in like DVD extras and stuff. And um, I, uh, I, oh, doggy dreams. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that that whining or not. But anyway, I uh, I left messages to my kids because that my daughter had just been born. She was really young at the time, so I put in like you know, I love you and her name and stuff like that in the animation. So that was kind of fun. Apparently it is full on doggy dream time over there. But yeah, I've definitely done that.
Here we go. Normally I don't close up this character's eyebrows because uh, I leave them the same color, but this time I think I'm going to close them up. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, it would it, it would be something that's really hard to see, um, for sure. It's one of those things where you just kind of have to know it's there. I just didn't like that to begin with. I don't like that either. Hey kitty cat. Did you come to join on the stream? You did? Start clawing my leg, cat. We will have we will have a conflict. Trigger happy on the undo there. Yeah, exactly. He definitely, uh, he definitely usually claws me while I'm trying to draw. Texture bits on the nose. And then do some stuff feeding into these lines right here. Woo! Looks like somebody's getting upset.
Yep. Somebody's starting to fight. Hi, doggies. Yeah, I see you, but I'm streaming right now. Yeah. Uh, you you might have seen him on the channel or uh, some other place, but they uh, haven't been anywhere yet. Like they haven't been in anything. The animations, I mean, they've just been hanging out here on the channel. I'm getting bombarded by doggies. Okay, you gotta go lay down. I have to finish a comic strip, dogs. Could we could we be finished? Let's thicken that up just a little bit. Doggies, don't make me yell. He's got like so many chances to have an eyebrow. <laughs> There's so much going on in those eyes. Yeah, I've got the speech written. Um, the dialogue is already written and the text is already in there. I just like to make sure I get through all my colors first. All right, so let's do, let's save it. Then we'll drop in some flats, and uh, I may leave it at flats for tonight. We'll see. We shall see. Let's see what we've got here. Anything else white? Oh yeah, I think his sash is white. Ooh. I must have a break in there somewhere. Tiny little pixel right there. I think that's all. Uh, it's a little off white.
All right, let's get our swatches back here. Yeah, let's see. Try to keep the colors simple, especially when I'm just flatting. Ooh, that's a little bright. out of there. He said, peace everybody, I'm out. Oh, that's too much. That's better. See what we got. I wanna, I wanna send this more toward a blue and desaturate a little bit because it's outside. And we'll go lighter and desaturate a little bit more in the tree. Pretty good sky color. Let's get a good gray. darker a little darker do the 
that, and then let's grab our We have outside. I'm gonna take this darker, desaturate a little bit. There we go. We're working with lots of browns in this. Music reminds me a lot of the uh, Michael Myers theme song from Halloween. It's not really a gold color per se, but we're going to go. Oh, Halloween. Yeah. I think I actually want to go stark white for the eyeball. Flatted, flatted, flatted. Let's get over here and flat this guy. Hmm. do the same thing I did with the null and go a little bit darker this time around here and here and then I'll add some value to that here in just a second but I believe for tonight we're gonna end up calling this quits it is midnight it's almost Saturday morning and so uh, we'll have some stuff to finish up, obviously, and uh, I can tackle that. But for right now, everyone, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's been awesome. Um, couldn't ask for better company. Uh, check out all the social social media down below, and uh, uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow me here. Follow me on YouTube, and uh, uh, follow me Monday night on the Adobe channel. Twitch Adobe channel uh, where I'll be streaming from uh, 7 p.m. Eastern until 10 p.m. Eastern and uh, we'll probably be working on another comic strip but uh, by all means join me hang out it's been a pleasure like follow and subscribe uh, check out my patreon if you like what you see and go get some perks get some drawings by me get some wallpapers get some things like that and uh, come and hang out anytime it's been a pleasure so everybody who chatted tonight, thank you very much. Have a great weekend, and uh, I will see you Monday night. Bye, everybody.